Uh, we're up 2.25 percent, up to 83.45.8345 cents. Okay, so uh, this thing is looking good. Looks like uh, hopefully a bottom has come came in here, and we're going to zoom into this and uh, going to show you what a breakout would be here. So that's what we're looking for here. Got a great article first. Uh, Shiba Inu upcoming developments revealed. Shiba Swap 2.0, Shiba Hub, Bone, Treat, and Metaverse. Okay. And if you would, if you enjoy this stuff, please hit the like and subscribe. I would appreciate that very much. Lucy, a core member of the uh, SHIB team, took to Twitter today to provide an overview of the forthcoming developments for the Shiba Inu ecosystem. The tweet has already garnered significant attention with over 4,000 views in a short span. Lucy listed the following advancements on the horizon for Shiba Inu. Bone contract renouncing Shiba Swap 2.0, Treat, Shiba Hub, and Metaverse. However, in a move to manage expectations, Lucy emphasized that these developments are steps in our development journey and cautioned that they won't materialize overnight. The core member also clarified that the team's focus is on the technology and its evolution rather than market driven price surges. No price pumping involved, Lucy stated. In subsequent tweets, Lucy highlighted the importance of community cohesion and positivity. If we don't come together and spread positive vibes, progress will be slow, she noted, addressing the broader crypto community. Lucy also commented on the uh, counterproductive nature of spreading false information and the significance of being part of a constructive community. Lucy remarks come in a time when the crypto market is rife with speculation and rapid price movements. Her emphasis on technology or market hype serves as a reminder of the fundamental goals of many blockchain projects. Yeah, absolutely. You know, this this is not a pump and dump crypto. Okay, this is long term. Uh, you, you know, staying positive, looking towards the future. That's what she's pretty much trying to get out here. You know, not looking for a uh, you know a massive uh, price movement uh, overnight. So while well, the exact timeline for these developments remains unspecified, with Lucy noting when when it's ready, the sheep the ship Inu community and investors will undoubtedly be watching closer for further updates. About Bone, Bone is set to play a pivotal role in the SHIB ecosystem, especially the Shibarium ecosystem. SHIB's Layer 2 blockchain, in, in the lead up to this launch, there will be a minting of the remaining Bone supply, followed by the renouncement of the Bone contract, ensuring no further minting can occur. This action is crucial for initiating the blockchain, as a significant chunk of Bone is reserved for its first role validators furthermore bone will act as a passport in the ecosystem being the token that uh, delegators bury for rewards serving as the ghost to uh, as the gas token for shibarium and playing a role in technology governance within the new framework yeah bone is huge without bone this whole thing doesn't work okay bone is the gas bone is the ethereum of the rest of the crypto market so uh this is what makes everything run okay is bone so a huge part of this you know if if uh if shibarium fails and this if this thing fails then then it all crashes okay so it's very important uh to be positive and put out good vibes and and have people uh you know look for the future with this thing not uh this isn't going to happen overnight about treat uh ryoshi's Shiba Inu Vision is built on the uh, synergy of core tokens. Shib, Leash, Bone, uh, She, and the integ Integral Treat. While not new, Treat's role is paramount. It fortifies the stable coin's liquidity and is slated to replace Bone as ShibaSwap's primary reward. Additionally, Treat is earmarked for rewards within the metaverse and the blockchain version of the Shiba collectible card game. Collectively, these tokens with Treat at the helm weave the uh, multifaceted tapestry of the Shiba Inu ecosystem. Wow. Well, that's uh, that's uh, that uh, that should get you pretty excited. Okay, uh, the tweet has already gone to 4,000 views in a short span. Uh, the following advancements: uh, new bone contract renouncing, Shiba Swap 2.0, uh, the metaverse. Uh, pretty big news coming out there. That just came out today, September 12th. So um, there you go. All right, let's move over here.
having a pretty decent day so uh, let's take a look at the bubbles uh, some stuff out there looking really good Casper, I cover that every day that thing's a monster um, uh, RLB vet good to see vet pumping finally um, Bitcoin cash a lot of stuff going on here where's bone at let's take a look B O N bone is uh, number 140 up three spots 191 million dollar market cap that just amazes me you know um, this thing will have to uh, 5x just to hit a 1 billion okay uh, which is pretty amazing that'll put it at four bucks um, I believe that uh, that that could be coming very very soon all right especially if uh, um, you know nothing is guaranteed but the breakout of this wedge all right uh, let's go out on a monthly all right look at this chart all right let's take a measurement of this thing all right and be absolutely fair here with this measurement okay from top to bottom a breakout of this wedge okay I'll say it comes over here by the time we get it or whatever okay pretty much pretty close to that on all right that's that uh, has a measurement of about three dollars and fifty cents all right that would be the measured move of uh, of a breakout to the top obviously all right a breakout to the bottom it doesn't make sense it, it really you know that would give this thing a uh, you know uh, where would that put us um, that would put this thing at uh, what a penny or something I, I'm not even sure what that would be minus uh, dollar eleven um, okay so yeah it, it just doesn't make sense all right uh, with the, the token supply and everything and, and what we've looked at with uh, with these charts and everything so expecting a big bounce big rally out of this thing okay monthly RSI we don't really have one the weekly is uh, just about reset man this thing is just about ready to start curving up look at this just 15 and a 30 flattening out down here okay um, I believe uh, this thing is going to turn up here anytime. We got that daily. Look at that. At a five and a six. Just turning up down here on the regular RSI. Just curving up. So expecting a move here soon at a bone. All right. You can see the resistance line we have here. Let's zoom in closer. The 12 hour. Look how oversold. It's down at a uh, 23 down here. Just turning up. Okay. Uh, the eight hour same thing down to 27 on the bottom and it is bullish at a 60 and a 33 uh, the four hour four hours getting to the top 86 and an 87 all right now you can see let's get these let's get these rsis off here now you can see our uh, resistance level here all right let's pull uh let's unlock this let's get this right one it, it is where it needs to be all right, we could pull it down there and that would make sense especially with that hit right there all right we got one two actually we got multiple touches that looks more oops I'm trying to get this exactly where right there that looks like it where is where it needs to be okay we have let's lock this all right we have most we have a touch here we have a touch here but through here would have been a false breakout we have a touch here we have a touch here and we have a touch down here all right that looks more uh legit all right so we're looking as soon as we can break this level all right that that's when uh this move should start really taking off here all right we kind of uh boy boy we kind of nailed that bottom didn't we with that uh that red line there I mean we had anywhere from what was our target area here I mean, we kind of nailed it 87 to 80 cents or something we went to 79 so uh, kind of just missed it by about a penny here that bottom all right you can see where we came up we got rejected so far off this thing so we need a breakout of the uh, call it 88 cent level all right that, that would get this thing actually this resistance up here at 89 cents 
Uh, if we can break that, this thing can really start going. All right, so we got that daily, uh, daily RSI right at the bottom here. It's starting to turn up down here on the regular RSI. That's huge. Got the 12 hour just turning up and we got the 8 hour is bullish so we got the 8 12 daily and the weekly is almost almost there okay so uh, that's what we want to see here we don't want to see this go any lower here on this RSI here let me let me look at some all right we have this low here then we had a lower low on the RSI over here that's when we have this big run up here. Okay, this thing could come down a little bit further. I don't want to see it below this low here. Okay, what I'm talking about. Let me mark this out. Uh, in fact, let's put a trend line on it. I believe we're going to... That should be a one. There we go. Okay, I don't want to see that... Uh, come down and go below this low here you can see over here all right this low ended up being a higher low but a lower low on the RSI that that should have been actually bearish but we ended up getting this big blast up here all right now we got this low here right here all right I want to see it actually start it's starting the curve you can see this band this band starting the curve there's definitely a curve in it that's not going straight down all right, so it could come right down to this line here and, and then get our bounce up out of here. Um, but I'm keeping an eye on that, all right? Uh, all right, everything is looking good with this thing, guys. It looks uh, looks perfect. Got that weekly just about reset. Uh, the daily is reset and bullish. The 12 hours bullish. The 8 hours bullish. Just waiting for this thing to make a move. All right. Um, once it does, I believe that weekly is going to spin back up too. I'm really surprised... Uh, with uh, no spike in volume down here. Let's look at the daily. All right, we got a little bit coming in there. 597,000 in this green candle right here. All right, that must have been when people figured uh, we probably had a bottom here. You know, of course, right back through here, people thought there was a bottom here too. Of course, that, that could have been people long in it up to here and then uh, watching for the dump. They do. You know, big ABC was coming in here. Anybody that's uh, that that you know has been charting for a while knows that he, you know this is going to be a big ABC. So they probably seen the bottom. Let's look at the daily. I bet you this yeah was at the bottom right here. They bought in. They longed it up to here, and then when that daily got to the top, they dumped it and rode and uh, we're waiting for an entry down here. And it looks like uh, that's where people are getting in right down there. You can see how that daily RSI was right at the bottom here. So they ended up, uh, what was that? What kind of move was this? Ended up being, please hit that like and subscribe, guys. That was a 32% out of 10x. That's the 3x in your money. You know, you know, that daily RSI, when it gets to the top, that's a signal that uh, price action is probably going to pull down, right? When it's at the bottom, that's when, uh, you, you know, your price action should push up. Right here, it was at the bottom, push up. Right here, it was at the top, pulled down. All right, that's that's how you read these things. When they're at the top, they're extremely overbought. When they're at the bottom, they're oversold. We are way oversold here. Okay, so waiting for a pump out of this thing. Should start going here anytime, guys. I'm really expecting something out of this thing. All right, have a good day, everybody. I will be back with you very soon. Hope you enjoyed the article there about the upcoming uh, developments, and uh, I'll talk to you very soon. Have a great night, everybody.